Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Jesus is Calling. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Jesus calls the first disciples. On one occasion, while the crowd was pressing in on Jesus to hear the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret, and he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, Jesus asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, He fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed Jesus. A Peter stood face to face before Christ. And at that moment, he realized that he was unworthy. Yes, both Peter and Paul The Lord's apostles were unworthy. Paul was a persecutor and an enemy of Christ when he was called. And Peter was a common man, a sinner, who despite his Lord's great love and trust in him, denied Jesus three times when he was put to the test. The early church understood that you don't have to be anyone special to be a Christian. For the church is a church of sinners. But it's also a source of forgiveness, where we can be rescued and saved. Uh, This relationship with Christ grows deeper when one is called to be a disciple. You see, Peter was a common man, and he was called while he was working. Notice, Jesus didn't ask him about his faith. No. He just asked Peter to follow him. Then, after that, it was up to Peter to listen, learn, and see. Paul, on the other hand, had already heard and seen most of what could be learned from the Old Testament and the law. However, he had never understood what God's plan was to save us and how he intended to do it. The crucial insight came to Paul when he understood that Jesus really is the Messiah, God's Son. At that time, he had been a disciple of the scriptures, but not of Jesus. However, God calls us. He calls us for this purpose, to be with Jesus and learn from him, to live with Jesus and to receive what only he can give. Now, we might not be able to receive everything right from the beginning, 
That's why we usually say that a disciple is someone who listens to God's word and then prays to come to the faith or remain in the faith. But keep in mind the main thing is to stay with Jesus and follow him. He will take care of the rest. You might not understand or comprehend everything at once. You may not even grasp some of the most important things. Peter could hardly have understood what Jesus meant when he said that he would be a fisher of men. But Peter trusted in Jesus, and he followed him, because that's what a disciple does. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for calling sinners to be your disciples. When you reached out to us, we had every reason to do as Peter did and ask you to depart from us because we are who we are. You know, however, that we would be lost if you did. Life would lose its meaning. Our hearts rejoice over the fact that you are a friend who receives sinners and allows us to stay with you. You can use us and turn us into fishers of men and allow us to be a blessing to others. Lord, may we be that blessing through you. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.